For today's video, we are going to focus on finding higher order derivatives. So let's say, if we have f of x equals 3x raised to 5 plus 2x cubed minus 6x plus 4, we are going to find the second derivative of the given function. So what are we going to do? So let us find first the first derivative of the given function. So let us have 3 and then the derivative of x raised to 5 plus 2 times the derivative of x cubed minus 6 and then the derivative of x plus the derivative of 4. So to simplify, let us have 3 and then the derivative of x raised to 5, that is 5x raised to 4 and then we have 2 times the derivative of x cubed, that is 3x squared, and then 6, derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of 4 is 0. And to find the first derivative, let us have 3 multiplied by 5, that is 15x raised to 4, plus 6x squared minus 6. So this will be the first derivative. And to find the second derivative, let us have 15 derivative of x raised to the fourth plus 6 times the derivative of x squared minus the derivative of 6. And to simplify, let us have 15 derivative of x raised to the fourth, that is 4x cubed plus 6 times the derivative of x squared, that is 2x. And the derivative of 6 is 0. And to find the second derivative, let us have 15 times 4, that is 60x cubed, plus 6 times 2 is 12, and then x. And this will be our answer. On number 2, f of x equals x squared times cosine x. And we are going to find the second derivative of the given function. So to find the second derivative of the given function, since we have a product of x squared and cosine x, we are going to use a product rule. And that is u prime times v plus u v prime. So this will be the value of u and this will be the value of v. So let us have u prime, that is the derivative of u, which is x squared. And the derivative of x squared, that is 2x. And then, let us have v, that is cosine x. And then u, that is x squared. And then v prime, that is the derivative of v, which is cosine. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. And to simplify, let us have the first derivative, which is 2x cosine x, positive multiplied by negative is negative, x squared sine x. And to find the second derivative, let us use product rule once again because we have a product of 2x and cosine x and product of negative x squared and sine x. So let us have u prime v plus u b prime. So this will be the value of u, this will be the value of v, and then minus this one. This is u and this is v. So we have u prime v plus u v prime. So let us simplify. So we have derivative of 2x, that is 2, and then v that is cosine x plus u, that is 2x. And then derivative of cosine x, that is negative sine x minus this one, u prime, that is x squared, and the derivative of x squared is 2x. And then v, that is sine x plus u that is x square and then v prime that is the derivative of sine x 
and that is cosine x. And to simplify, let us have 2 cosine x positive times negative is negative 2x sine x. And then let us distribute the negative sign. Let us have negative 2x sine x minus x square cosine x. So let us combine this one. Let us have 2 cosine x negative 2x sine x minus negative 2x sine x is negative 4x sine x minus x square cosine x. This will be the second derivative of the given function. This will be our answer. On number 3, f of x equals square root of x, and we are going to find the third derivative of the given function. So to find the third derivative of the given function, the first thing that we're going to do is to write the square root of x into exponential form, and that is f of x equals x raised to 1 half. So let us find the first derivative. So the derivative of x raised to 1 half is 1 half, then x, and then 1 half minus 1. And to simplify, this will be 1 half x, 1 half minus 1, that is negative 1 half. Or you can have 1 minus 2, that is negative 1, and copy the denominator. So we leave it in this way because we are looking for the third derivative. And to find the second derivative, let us have the derivative of 1 half x raised to negative 1 half. So let us have 1 half. And then let us bring negative 1 half here. And then x, negative 1 half minus 1. So let us have 1 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 1. And 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. And then x, negative 1 over 2 minus 1 is negative 3 over 2. Or negative 1 minus 2, that's negative 3 and copy the denominator. And this will be the second derivative. So let us find the third derivative. So let us have negative 1 fourth. Let's bring down negative 3 over 2. And then x, negative 3 over 2 minus 1. So you can have negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. And then 4 times 2 is 8. And then negative 3 over 2 minus 1, that is negative 5 over 2. Or negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5, copy the denominator. And to eliminate the negative sign on the exponent, we are going to have 3 over 8. And then x raised to positive 5 over 2. And we have to write this one into radical form. It will give us 3 over 8 square root of x raised to 5. Since the index is 2, we are going to divide x raised to 5 by 2. So this will be 3 over 8 square root of x square times x square times x raised to 1, total of x raised to 5. So this will be 3 over 8. And how many x squared do we have? And that is 2. So we have x squared here and the square root of x. So some other teacher may accept this answer, but if you want to rationalize this one, let us multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of x. It will give us 3 square root of x and then 8 x squared. Let us cancel this one. It will give us x. So our answer will be 3 square root of x over 8x squared times x will be 8x cubed. And this will be our answer. On number 4, if we have the second derivative of the function, and that is 5 over x squared, we are going to find the fourth derivative of the given function. So what is the first step that we're going to do? So let us have the second derivative of x 
So let us rewrite this one as pi x raised to negative 2. So we move x squared from denominator to numerator. Since we have the second derivative, let us find the third derivative. So let us have 5 and then the derivative of x raised to negative 2. So we are going to have 5 and then let's bring negative 2 and then x negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And the third derivative will be 5 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 10 x raised to negative 3. So this will be the third derivative. And to find the fourth derivative, let us have negative 10 derivative of x raised to negative 3. So this will be negative 10 times, let's bring negative 3, and then x, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. And to simplify, negative 10 multiplied by negative 3 is positive 30. And then x raised to negative 4. And to eliminate the negative sign on the exponent, we move x raised to negative 4 in the denominator. It will give us 30 x or 30 over x raised to 4. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.